Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, session three and the finale of Lady Blackbird Into the Wild Blue Yonder. I am very, very, very excited for everything that we're going to get up to tonight. Um, yay, chatbot decided to work when I reset it. I always love turning things off and back on again. <laughs> yes, that's my favorite way to make things work. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to... Um, Simple fixes for the win. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. We're going to go around and introduce ourselves, do a little bit of a quick recap, um, and then we're just going to get right into it. Uh, like I told the group, um, there is no plan for this night. We're going to see what this wonderful group wants to do, and then we're going to do it, and that's going to be our finale. I, I, I love the idea of that. Um but yeah, uh, I'm Katie. I use she, her pronouns. I am the GM. Um, we are going to start with D. Hello, all. You know me. I'm your friendly neighborhood D, or Prax, and I, you playing Kale, the mechanic and uh, sticky finger thief, um, who we both use she, her pronouns. This will be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Thank you for running this game, Katie. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, Kai, what about you? Hi, everybody. I'm Kai. Um, I use they, them pronouns, and I'm playing Naomi, who uses she, her pronouns. And she is played by Michelle Yeoh. And um, she, uh, oh, there's a cat. Hi, Princess Caroline. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's she's in a mood tonight. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to protect Lady Blackbird. Um, from herself, I guess. <laughs> um, Alyssa, what about you? Yes, hi, it's Alyssa or Xander, depending on who you know me. And I and my character, Lady Blackbird, both use she, her pronouns. And occasionally there will be a Princess Carolyn, who is a gremlin of a cat. But I'm excited for tonight. So, <laughs> Yay. And last but certainly not least, we have Robin. Hi everyone, I'm Robin. I use she, her pronouns, and this evening is the final performance of me as Cyrus Vance, uh, who uses he, him pronouns. Did you get your and script? It, you got your script it really, ready to go? It really is a performance, <laughs> is what I would say. <laughs> well, I, I am glad that all of you are ready to go. Um, last time, uh, the group of the owl, the crew of the owl landed on um, Haven, um, because you had gotten a message from the uh, the captain of the uh, Artemis Echo, uh, Fiona Quinn, wanted to meet you because she had heard news that um, you had a very expensive uh, guest aboard the Owl. Uh, wanted to sort of get in on that or at least see if it was true when you all landed. Uh you all went to um, the Jealous Chain, I believe, was the random name that I gave it at the last minute. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, uh, you all went to the Jealous Chain, which is a bar on Haven. Uh, Kale broke off for a little while to do, you know, Kale's favorite thing, which is looking for shinies, uh, money, any kind of little thing that in interests them. Uh, you all went inside... Uh, Lady Blackburn and Naomi went up to the upper level, um, where as Cyrus waited for their meeting, um, and because Naomi and Lady Blackbird went off on their own because the night before, they had sent off a special private message uh, to uh, um, Uriah Flint to Lady Blackbird's old, I hate saying this word, lover. <laughs> God, it's such a bad word. <laughs> I mean, boyfriend. Old boyfriend. Sounds, it makes yeah. him sound really teenager, but at the same time, she was. <laughs> yeah, old old boyfriend. Old, yeah, let's go with boyfriend. The word old lover. Flame. Old flame. Old flame. Old flame. <laughs> yes, that's what we will use. Old flame. Sent a message off to Lady Backwards. Old flame with what they thought was privately. Uh, Kale intercepted it, didn't know what the message meant. It was, it, Kale didn't understand it because it wasn't a special code that only Lady Blackbird and Uriah Flint knew. 
but was able to save it from going out to Imperial um, forces. So at least made sure that no one from the Imperial forces would get this message, intercept it, and, you know, come straight for the owl. But, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, but uh, long story short, um, uh, things didn't go as planned at the Jealous Chain. Um, No one really knows why it's named that, but Cyrus did run across an old, (laughs) an old uh, flame of his own. Um, His ex-fiance, Isabel, uh, which quickly turned into everyone knowing, um, knowing that uh, Isabel had sort of sold... I don't want to say sold Cyrus out. There was no money exchanged, but let Fiona know where Cyrus would be immediately. Um, Fiona came. Things weren't looking too good. A fight ensued um, that ended up with Fiona basically uh, letting, uh, letting them know that the little message that was sent out has sort of given her position, given uh, Lady Blackbird's position away to most every uh, ship in the blue and had let, had also revealed that Uriah was also looking for her for what reason they don't know. Fiona didn't seem to know herself or at least didn't reveal it. And with a loud um, let them come, uh, as Lady Blackbird said, she essentially cast a large bolt of lightning inside of the jealous chain and, yeah, set Fiona Quinn and her man Brutus uh, aflame. Uh, didn't kill them, but they are both uh, definitely unconscious. Uh, it was a... It was a great time, and we left on Cyrus looking over at <laughs> at Lady Blackbird and just asking, essentially, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I think it's not essentially. That's literally well, what yeah, I said. Liter- that is literally. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. That is literally the, wo- <laughs> the words that left your mouth were, what the fuck is that? <laughs> was that? Mm-hmm. So, um... You're all still in the jealous chain. Isabel has rushed out from behind the bar. She had told you all to get out. Um, she's rushed out from behind the bar to sort of... Uh, she She's run to the door to lock it. People have... Tons of people have rushed out already. They, they She's trying to keep more people from coming in. Um, she's locked the door, but now you're all in sort of a huddle around the charred-ish body. <laughs> Fiona Quinn and her um, the man that she was working with and uh, Kale you don't see the other man that she was working with anywhere he hasn't come in at least so the one I liberated his weapon his weapon from you don't see him no and I've liberated Fiona's weapon you have Fiona's gun her very shiny uh, white uh, small pistol Cyrus is going to run his hands through his hair, not look at Lady Blackbird, and he's going to say, all right, Kale, strip Mm. the bodies, take whatever they have that's worth. We're heading back to the Owl, you two, and he gestures, not looks at uh, Naomi and Lady Blackbird. You're welcome to join us on the Owl or not, but that's where we're going. Um... Well, it's probably for the best. Is it? That we go with you. Um, yeah. So, if possible, that we're going to be hunted now. I mean, and it, I'm not saying it's my fault. I would like to first blame poor planning on a lack of sleep considering i haven't slept the greatest since i've been on your ship but i don't think that's your fault i think that's just what it is but it's possible that maybe i did something stupid are you done with your excuses yeah okay okay if you'll if you'll you'll take us in then we're, we're going right lady Blackbird. 
we're going? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm, that's, yeah. Yeah. Then let us be circumspect and helpful and move this along. Okay. Um. And she's just going to kind of look at the bodies she's electrocuted and just like... Which are already half stripped by this point because Cam has already got started. Yeah, and you don't basically. You don't have to roll for anything. You're not going to find anything, but um, you're going to be able to get his big weapon, his big uh, gun, um, and then there's um, there's you're going to get Fiona's big um, purse of coin. Uh, there's a good. She's not going to travel with all of her coin, of course, but there's probably yeah. at least three hundred coin in here. Yeah. It's a good. Kill. It's like I would, because my grandfather would say it's walking around money. <laughs> yeah, it, it's walking around money. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's that it's walking not, around money. <laughs> yeah. Um. So she pockets the coin and then picks up the rifle and chucks it at Vance. Yeah, like, I catch gonna, it. It's just like it's a natural gesture between the two of us. I think at this point. <laughs> yeah, and she sticks the uh, she sticks the like fancy pearl handled revolver in the back of her pants and is like, well, like. Oh, and this is the one for the guy outside. You want this one too? Obviously, of course. Yeah. And I want to like gag and like tie him up. Oh yeah, you definitely can. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think um, Naomi, you still have the chain you rip down from the from the ceiling if you wanted to offer that up. Like that. Sure. Yeah, that's sure, no problem absolutely. whatsoever. You're not going to have to roll for that. Isabel is looking out the windows, making sure there's no one coming, and she's like, "The one last kindness I'll offer you. You can go out the back." What a kindness. Yeah. Let's go. Follow yeah, me. I am I am following Cyrus Vance out the back. <laughs> and if you weren't, I'd be making sure you were. <laughs> yeah, you can all go out the back. Um, and Cyrus, you know this. You, you know Haven pretty well. And it's going to lead you back. Are, are you trying to head back toward the owl? Yeah, we're. I think we're going to the owl and we're dipping immediately. Yeah, as you approach the owl, Kale, you're going to see that man waiting there with his arms crossed, sort of leaning against the owl. Um, as she sees this, she's gonna, like, tap Vance on the shoulder and point at him and goes, well, I took his gun, so. He doesn't seem to know what's happened. It's like he was sent here ahead of time to wait, you know, to see, yeah. to be looking for y'all. I'm going to draw my rifle <laughs> and I'm going to point it at him like his buddy's rifle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to point it at him and I'm going to say, backup isn't coming. Do you want to live? Oh, so you just walk straight out across the owl to him with your gun. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, He's a lot bigger than you. <laughs> I've got a gun. I don't really but, care. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. Um, so it's only going to be a two to intimidate him if you'd like to to roll to intimidate. Okay. Him. Which one of mine has? Uh, uh, I'm gonna do um, one for for just cause. I'm gonna do um, survivor. I'm gonna do tough, uh, creepy stare and intimidate. Yeah, and it's it's only a two ob. It's not going to take much yeah. at all because, like I said, you have a gun and he immediately hones in on the fact that that's his gun. And he looks at you, Kale, and he sees Fiona's gun as well. Oh, so I'm going to roll five die. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. He holds his hands up and he says, all right, all right, all right. Don't want any problems. Where's my, where's my employer at? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. I think she's caught the spark of something else. You know what I mean? Can't say I a... do. I think you'll figure it out All right. pretty quickly. He's going to say the storm came and went and she's swept up in it. Maybe Blackboard's a little proud of herself for being able to use magic. <laughs> can I just like, can I just look at her like, this isn't funny. I'm done with your bullshit. <laughs> She's Do I have so to make a roll for that? No, no. You can make. You can look at her. I mean, it's fine. You're. Looking. He's gonna sidestep away and like look. He he's he's keeping his front to you know he doesn't want to turn his back on y'all and he's gonna take a step away. And he's going to just sort of watch before he's gonna take off in a run down the street toward the jealous chain. 
But before you go, have you, perchance, have you contacted Uriah Flint? No, we don't. We don't deal with him anymore. Mm, that's what I figured. Come on, I'm gonna just grab her by her arm and drag her onto the ship. But I, I want to use the magic. So <laughs> she's gonna go on the ship. Yeah, he's taking off in a run. So much adrenaline. Elle oh, shakes her head and then immediately goes to the engine room to see if he messed with any of her shit. No, he, you could tell there he wasn't getting on your ship. Yeah, he was purely waiting there. I think Fiona might have told him to see if, you know, there was, if you were running, that kind of thing, or if she was coming out to make a meeting to the owl. He was there just to intimidate, but it clearly did not turn out that way. He w didn't step foot on your ship. As you go in, where are you heading toward your, like, uh, community, toward your, like, I can never remember the name of it. Where you go to fly the thing? The bridge. The bridge. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best. Are you, going, are you heading toward the bridge, um, Cyrus? Yeah, immediately. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, you see, you have a message waiting, but it's not addressed to Cyrus Vance or to Kale Arkham. It's not addressed to anyone. What does it say? Uh, yeah, you open it and it says, as far as the remnants go, that's where I'll be waiting. <laughs> it doesn't take long, I don't think, I, to figure out that that's the reply from Uriah and that he wants Lady Blackbird to come to him. And I essentially would know where he's talking about, right? Um, you would know that he's waiting in the remnants. You've never been to the remnants before. That's way out of your breadth of knowledge. The remnants are only flown by very um, competent uh, sailors. Well, how do we rank on the competency scale? <laughs> no. That's what I was going to ask Cyrus Vance. Uh, you've been through them once or twice. They're not, that's not where you stick to flying at all, Cyrus. Um, okay. it, it's like it, you could, if you had to pick the remnants over the depths, you'd rather go into the remnants. Uh, because at least if you're going to die, you're going to die quicker up there. <sighs> Love it. I'm gonna begin the undocking procedures. Like we're we're leaving. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And there's you don't see anyone uh trying to stop you. Good. Yeah, and it's gonna take you about twenty minutes. You know, this is just normal. The owl is older. You haven't done anything to you know, fix the little bit of problems that you had with Fiona Quinn, how she had shot at your ship. Um, but there's no one after you. So it is a clean getaway as far as you're concerned. And after about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you can take to the blue once again with another clean getaway. You have sort of a habit of making those. <laughs> well, I, I would say it's a new habit. <laughs> This is not the norm. Um, yeah, and after about after about thirty minutes, you are flying steadily. Uh, right now, it, it's something you actively have to do. You haven't put on any sort of autopilot or anything. You know, you're you're having to set your course and stuff. Kale, you're down in the engine room. Um, Lady Blackbird and Naomi, you are in the common room. You're all sort of split up at this point. Um, but what is your next? What, what's your next plan? What's going on? Uh, Kale, uh, she's in the engine room, takes a minute and uh, adds um, Isabel. Is that her name? Isabel, yes. Adds Isabel and the Jealous Chain to the list of places that will be blocked permanently. <laughs> it's fair. Um, and then she'll head up to the bridge. Yeah. Kale, come, you come into the bridge and you see Cyrus. Uh, uh, flying the ship 
you know, uh, you're you're pretty far away from the remnants right now. But if that's where you are heading toward, it's going to take about um, the better part of the day to get there to the outer remnants. And then you have to navigate your way into finding, if that's where you want to go, finding wherever Uriah might be. Yeah, I'm going to at least set course for the remnants because if um, we're being tracked, then that's a good place to lose people anyway, mm -hmm. regardless of whether or not Uriah is there. Yeah, for sure. Naomi and uh, Lady Blackbird, what are you doing? You're back in the common room. You could see Kale sort of pass through to go to the bridge, but I assume she doesn't stop to talk. She walks into the bridge, um, but you two are alone in the common room. Uh, lady, uh, so, uh, has Naomi seen you do magic before? I think we Not said- Not full force. Yeah, like you that. haven't, you've like, seen her do just petty magic. Oh, okay. Like, you would have, uh, like, maybe, like, little things, like, like, moving something without touching it, or, like, very, like, so small, like, things that could look like they were sleight of hand tricks. Lighting, like, a, lighting a candle, that kind of thing, I think we had. Yeah, you know, wave a hand over a candle and it's on yeah. fire. Not, not full on, like, call the power we of the We have storm. switches, but, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, Naomi says, if you could do all of that, why, why do you need me? And I, I, Lady Blackbird has been just like pacing, just like trying to get the adrenaline to calm down because it was so much fun using powers and like not being afraid of it anymore. It's just like, Naomi, it's not, it's not about needing protection so much as needing a friend. It was never, I don't know. There was, there was never a part of me that, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that what I saw in you was somebody that I could rely on, that had strengths that complemented my own and you get to use them. And I've never been allowed to use them. I have, I have been told to stuff as much of this part of me away because it's not proper, because it's dangerous, because nobody knows what to do with me. And you were the first person that I ever met that was strong and powerful and also kind. And I guess I was just sort of looking for something like myself that obviously very different. I certainly cannot do the things you can do physically. I do not remember the last time I picked up a big box without help, but here we are. It was more about friendship than it was about anything else. But also, can we talk about how cool it was? <laughs> well, um, sure, yeah. Um... But also, I think maybe we screwed up. And by we, I mean, you did help me, but then again, I told you to. It's... I don't mind. Maybe, the... maybe we don't suddenly... <sighs> maybe we just don't send late night messages anymore. I think that's a good rule in general, right? Yeah, um, it was a bad idea on my part. Uh, I, uh, I shouldn't have suggested it. Um, no, it's fine. I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have fallen for it. Everyone knows late night messages are bad. I mean, in the end, maybe it was Cyrus's fault for being asleep. <laughs> maybe Cyrus should have just woken up. <laughs> maybe Cyrus should have just woken up. <laughs> um, when in doubt, or, or we could just gonna blame Cyrus Vance for everything. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel better. That's all. I appreciate it. Oh, Naomi, what are we going to do? Why is Uriah hunting me? He wanted to reach out. He could have just... 
reached out. You don't, you don't suppose my parents put him up to this or worse, Count Carlo. He's put out an awful big bounty from what that captain said. Um, Carlo I, does have a lot of money. Maybe it's just his way of ensuring you make your way there, even if we can't find our way out there on our own. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Coming off the adrenaline, something's not adding up. And I don't know. So how big of a lightning bolt can you make? That was probably one of the bigger ones that I've made ever, but first time it happened, it was like a whole, she's like trying to gesture with her arms, but it's not going. So like there's a large part of my family's garden that it used to be a hedge maze that the center of the maze went from being like normal size to like triple in size. That might have been my fault. That was that was that was me. Maybe maybe it needed creative direction on your part. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, just make sure that I'm not on the other end of your lightning bolts in the future, because I was pretty darn close, and that's kind of scary. Um, but well noted. You um, you shouldn't hold anything in any longer. We'll we'll get I'm through so this together. And uh, she's going to take Naomi's hand in a friendly gesture and squeeze her hand and say, "We're going to get through this." We are. Kale, you walk onto the um, onto the bridge to see Cyrus. Cyrus, what are you doing? Are you angrily flying the ship? <laughs> um, he is half flying the ship and You're Cyrus. Half- I'm sorry. <laughs> He's half flying the ship and half he has um, a full bottle of whiskey. I think you notice that there isn't a glass. So if he's going to drink it, he's going to drink it out of the bottle. But you see the seal isn't broken on it yet. And he's contemplating it. Oddly, as one contemplates. Yeah, Kale, you walk in. I don't think this is a scene that you're not unused to. It's, it's, it's not, I don't want to say, is it common, Cyrus? Uh, I mean, there's definitely a store of alcohol in the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 for special occasions on, in either direction. Okay. You know, on either end Um, of the spectrum. I think Kale walks in and like sees you contemplating this bottle and just picks it up out of your hand and opens it, breaks the seal and says, and takes a swig and offers it back to you and says, so where are we going? (sighs) The remnants, I guess. She'll take the bottle from you (laughs) before you even get a chance to drink out of it. Drink it again and hand it back to you and go, why? I don't know where else to go. And I'm going to take a swig before you can decide I don't get to. Was this whole thing a mistake? Did we really fuck up on this one? I'm merely going to add that allowing a passenger access to communications without them attempting to block said communications, by the way, I fixed that seems like a minor error. (sighs) 
I don't know. I'm. I gotta let my feelings get the best of me this time. Won't happen yeah. again. Don't say that. You let your feelings get the best of you a lot. That's why I like you. But this time, are you gonna be able to walk away if she does? If she chooses to walk away, then yeah. Is it, it's that obvious? Yeah. Okay. It's that obvious. Yeah, I was thinking I'm doing a great job of maintaining my, you know, cool and suave exterior. Guess I was wrong. I mean, it is me. It is you. Also, should I be slightly concerned that your new attachment might blow up the ship from inside? Because, you know, lightning in an small metal can seems like a scary ass thing. I don't want to think about it. She's probably not even going to stay. Well, she's definitely not going to say if you don't say anything. It's not much of a choice, is it? I mean, Pirate King. Only a captain because he's the one who bought the ship. I mean, if I were given that decision, I know what I'd choose. Yeah, but you're asking but you're making the mistake of choosing between the captain and the king instead of Cyrus and Uriah. And everything I've heard about Uriah, I don't know that I'd make that choice. Also, didn't she hasn't like not seen them in like seven years or anything? I don't know, I didn't get an exact date. Okay, so you're at least in the running. Who said there was even a race? Life. So, like, where did you pick up this philosophy book? Do I have to, like, start going through libraries to see, like, what kind of late fees you've run up? <laughs> late fees? You assume that I check things out? I shouldn't have asked. Cyrus, you know me. Also, by the way, and she pulls out the other gun and is like, here you go. <laughs> Which other gun? <laughs> she, the gun she took off of the-, uh, the Fiona. Fiona. No, I have Fiona. Oh. I had Fiona's. I had took the rifle, which I gave to Cyrus. And then I'd have the gun that I originally stole from the third guy. Oh, okay. Which one are you it's giving like her? The I, I'm keeping I'm keeping Fiona's because gotcha. I'm, I'm giving him I'm giving Cyrus the other one. Gotcha. Also, did you and she like holds out the coin bag, which she's already liberated and hidden away a big chunk of, but there's still a significant amount in here. And I know you've done that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's honeymoon fund. I have no judgment about what you want to spend your money on, but this is your take. And think about it this way. We might get there and Uriah might say, hey, honey, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, Cyrus, you're such a great guy. Let me give you something. Her. <laughs> I mean. That seems likely. Out of all, out of all the possibilities, that's the one that I'm definitely gonna place my bets on. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so we should be placing our bets on the fact that Uriah Flint is probably gonna shoot us the minute he we turn our backs on him. Oh, definitely. Okay, trap, trap. At least we're used to those. 
So this will be good. This will be good. Does that mean... And she kind of gets this glint in her eye and she looks at you and then looks at the door. So if it's a game now and a race and you're really going to put yourself forward, that means we don't have to keep make pretending that Uriah is good guy, right? Were we ever pretending he was a good guy? I mean, I wasn't mentioning certain things in certain mixed company, but now I can entirely embrace. I'm just, at some point, it'd be really fun to just, I'm going to, I'm, I'm might be planning a little something that might piss him off significantly what kind of what kind of plan is this is this an explosion have you plan seen that no that's a secondary that's always okay. been a plan but have you seen that hat i know what yeah i think i know what you're talking about i i think that hat needs a new owner don't you <laughs> you no, I don't think I have the head big enough for it, but I think- Oh, I don't know, fit. I don't know, I don't know. Make a few adjustments, maybe pull out some of the feathers. I think it could work. We'll see. We're really doing this? I think we have to have a conversation with our passengers. That's a captain job, captain. And she grabs the bottle and takes another swig before she hands it back to you. Do you want a promotion? I'm there. There's a spot opening up right now. No, we agreed. You're the captain. I'm the engineer and the pilot. And this is my ship. Fuck. Okay. Here's to, uh, cheers to Uriah Flint, I guess, and the places he's led us this far. And I'm going to take a swig and pass it back to you. <laughs> and she'll cap it and then hide it back in the like edge of the console that usually sits in. Um, Cyrus, you know that, it, like I said, it would take a better part of the day, probably about nine to ten hours to get to the edge of the remnants. And you could basically put the ship on autopilot, keep an eye on the the um, radar to, you know, see if anyone's following anyone get, you know, gets close to you. And, and at this point, no one is. It just is, seems business as usual. Um, it's sorry, I was. I have bad heartburn right now. <laughs> so um, it uh, it's mostly when you cross that threshold into the remnants is when you'll need someone flying, you know. Um, that's when you're really going to need uh, the actual someone there at the bridge at all times. But for right now, if you wanted to, you know, go elsewhere, um, that's perfectly fine. If you wanted to go have that talk right now is what I'm saying. You don't have to be at the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's going to look longingly at the alcohol. And um, I think head off towards the common room. Okay. Do you follow Kale? Uh, Kale's going to set herself up on the in the pilot's chair and like watch the door, wait till he gets out, and then flick the comm so that she can hear everything in the common room, but she doesn't actually have to be there. Okay, so uh, you get comfortable. I imagine like, you know, just sprawled back. Yeah, just like hands behind your head, that kind of thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, then uh, Naomi and Lady Blackbird, you're comfortable. I am. I imagine probably your conversation has moved to different things, you know, how you um, talk, how you're just normal conversations, that kind of thing. And uh, you see Cyrus coming in from the bridge into the common room. So I think it's time that we have a chat. Okay. You haven't been honest with me and I have been honest with you, and these facts are going to change what decision we make. 
depending on the information. Okay. I'm <laughs> going to get this off the table, which is um, my invitation to have you guys join the crew earlier wasn't entirely unselfish. Um, how do I put this? You were hoping that you could use my noble heritage as some <laughs> kind of ambassador for your ship so you could maybe have at least somebody to do, I don't know, the sort of perhaps public relations that this ship needs. <laughs> Uh, this <laughs> I don't think any kind of public re relations are going to fix this ship's reputation. Um, I mean, every good ship needs somebody that with, you know, coin and creativity. Um, I was going to say that uh, I was really jealous of Uriah uh, because I wanted you to uh, like me instead. But that's not what I came here to say. Um, I'm not, this isn't, you can believe me or not, but this is the truth. And he's going to start unbuttoning his shirt. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't, I'm not, I just, I need to. I just imagine Kale is just like, oh God, what is he doing? Oh God. <laughs> Because, like, nothing's being said during this, because, because Lady Blackbird is, 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 the emotions are, like, on, like, a hamster wheel right now, and if, it was if, like, if, if, if an Oscar Isaac looking person is unbuttoning your shirt, their shirt in front of you, you, you have no reaction but just, like, to what? She got to! Yeah, well, that's the thing, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that Naomi puts her hand in front of your eyes. <laughs> Which is just like Lady Blackbird, like, no, no, no. Let, let's hear what he has to say, Naomi. Let's see where this is going. Kel is just like, do I get up and get the popcorn? No, this is too good. I'm, I'm comfy now. Um, and he unbuttons his shirt and he takes it off. And you see like quite a few scars, some of them more severe than others. But he points to two obvious gunshot wounds and this big slash across his chest that goes from, you know, sternum to hip. Uriah Flint, uh, you probably know isn't his real name. Um, he, he's actually my younger brother and he gave me these. And um, our parents weren't so lucky. Tried to make off with the family fortune and uh, mostly succeeded. That's why I had to join the Imperial Army in the first place. So I understand your feelings towards the man, but mine are quite different. Why did you agree to this mission? You, uh, because I'm a good person. Knew. Good good people still say no to things like this. This that would be reasonable in my I don't know the way other people talk about him, the way other people see him, some kind of hero or whatever maybe he's changed but i don't know the uriah you know is probably much different from the brother i knew to be fair the uriah i knew it was six years ago four from our last communication 
Yes, she could be even more different from that. So that's what we have to talk about. Do you want, do you want this? You know, he offered a bounty for you. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very much wondering if his bounty is not tied to my betrothed and he's t choosing the money and using my weakness of affection to get a big payday and send me to essentially my doom. I, I don't know what else to do, Cyrus. I, I don't think I can go back to a life of putting myself into a box that I don't fit in. And Count Carlo has a very specific way he likes his women to be, which is mostly quiet and pretty and could be wallpaper for all anyone's concerned. Right now, this is all I have going for me. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I'm sorry my feelings made this complicated, but the owl is a no. safe place for you. That... I think I need a second. Of course. To, to think. Yeah, that makes sense. I am truly sorry for what you've had to go through. I mean, there's not much you can do about it. It's not much anything one can do about it. Doesn't change the sentiment. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm gonna head back to the bridge. We are on course for the remnants, but I think it's a good plan considering that Fiona probably wasn't the only captain who's on our tail, and the remnants are a good place to lose someone. <clears throat> okay. Kale? Yep. Wanna... Yeah. Kale, while what? you were listening to all of this, what were you doing in the bridge? Um... She's not surprised. I don't think she knew that Uriah was actually Vance's brother, but she's not surprised because she's known that Uriah, that Cyrus has hated Uriah for yeah, years. That there's something there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, she was sure it was personal, but she wasn't sure why. And it wasn't something that she would bother him with. Okay. Um, but she does know that she, somebody needs to figure out if this uh, bounty is for. Lady Blackbird alive or dead, and uh, or in safe passage. All of these things are important to know. So, know if we're going to get shot at. Um, so she's probably been subtly reaching out to a couple people that she knows, particularly a old friend that may have worked for Uriah at some point. Okay. Or still does. Okay. Yeah. Um. I think that'll just be, uh, do you want to find specifically one who used to work for him or one that works for him currently that might have okay. like, not really that, that works for him just cause he has to, and doesn't really have a certain loyalty to him. I think a current, em current employee, you know, might okay, be I think so more things. Okay. Uh, it'll be an ob three. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go with, burglar well just cuz burglar well, just cuz burglar quiet because she doesn't want to draw attention to them keep it on the down low yeah sneaking because she doesn't want anyone else to see what else is going on she's hiding this communication okay um she's 
being perceptive about what they're doing. I, at, yeah, and, you're keeping it out of the wrong, keeping it in the right channels, watch, watching out for the wrong channels. Wrong, yeah. wrong channels. Watching it for being a trap because even though they're friends, she, it's like, you still work for Uriah. This could be a trap. Okay. So that's, that's seven so seven, far. I'm going to put in t- one from my pool to make it eight. Okay. That's yeah. five successes. Okay. What does your... Do you have sort of a code that you would send this person? That they would know um, that it's you? Probably. Like, I would imagine this is another burglar. Another yeah. petty criminal kind of person. Probably. So it's probably yeah. just a criminal code that, you, that you're familiar with? Yep. Probably. And it's probably like, you know, something along the lines of, Hey... Saw wanted uh saw a help needed ad. Wanted to know the particulars how the merchandise was should be brought. Okay, yeah, you get a message back very quickly from someone named uh Abel, <laughs> and um, all you get back is this um this message that says merchandise is very caustic. Will We'll report back soon. And you know that that means that something bad is going down. And with that, we will go to our break. Yeah, everyone, we'll go to our break. We'll be back in um, about five, five, ten minutes to have a little bio, get something to drink, snackies, all of that good stuff. And we'll be back with our, la- we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. No, no, nobody does. We'll see. <laughs>
Hello, everyone. We're back from break. Um, so, uh, I forgot where we were. Um, you get a message back, uh, Kale, that says uh, the merchandise is caustic. Uh, we'll report back soon. Um, you return back to the bridge, Kale, and si uh, Kale, sorry, Cyrus, and Kale is sitting there uh waiting for you know, she's heard everything she had the communicator on so she could hear the conversation um but she's waiting at the bridge for you we're gonna get shot i think we've had worse we're gonna get really shot on a on a scale of one to dead. Your brother shot you over money. And um, now it's money and a girl. I think we left dead and are into pain. We've left dead and now we're into, what, bodily mutilation? Yeah, haven't you heard about this thing called, you know, To the Pain? I think I saw it in a play once. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For yeah. character. No, but there that's okay. It, 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 that's, it's a truth. And I know of certain people who practice it. Um, I'm gonna go. Do we want to divert course? Where? Anywhere else? I think anywhere else, everybody's gonna see it. And you pissed off most of the bars in Nightport. Most of them, I'd I'd say, it's about half, like a fifty-one forty-nine percent thing. If it's most of them, three quarters, mm, 40, 60? 70, 30 at least. Communicator lights up again, Kale. Jesus Christ! And she just kind of gestures to Cyrus to keep quiet. <clears throat> And not turns it on. This is my old friend Kale. Possibly. It's Abel. You, you remember? We uh we worked together. We've ran a few, a few um, well um more successful runs and bad ones. I did lose my hand that one time, but it wasn't your fault. It was my fault. And you know what? Prosthetics are all the eight, all the rage these days. You're the one that stuck your hand in an oven. Still don't know why I did that. I thought it, you know, I thought that if it was frozen, then it would heat up. You know what? You know, we're not going to talk about it. Um, what's up? What, uh, what, uh, I haven't heard from you in a couple of years. You're sailing with the king these days? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do for money, right? You're selling with, uh, <laughs> Cyrus Vance. Money's good, the ship's nice, and it's mine. You know what? That's, uh, that's all people can hope for, honestly. Money's not that nice over here, but I'm seeing more of the blue than I've ever seen before. And you do like that blue, don't you, Abel? It's my favorite thing in the world. Um... What you, uh, he, what you need? This, uh, request that your employer has put out. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Eh, might be a question. Might know where it is. What does he want for it? What state does he want it in? Definitely alive. He's been talking about it nonstop for weeks. Uh, the whole crew's tired of hearing about this woman. 
Um, I think the bounty on her from her family was like 80,000. He's asking over a hundred for her. Says something that got to do with magic. Oh, I was wondering why, why uh, Uriah Flint was so en enamored with a girl. Never seemed the type. Says uh, once he has a hand on her, then something, something. It'll be everything he wants. I don't know. I, uh, most of what he says goes in one ear and out the other. I just do what I'm told. I'm down in the engine room right now contacting you because uh, it won't exactly be the best thing if I get caught, you know. Yeah. You want to let your... And, and she'll, like, look at Cyrus for confirmation. It's like, we're going, right? I can... Uh, I can set up a meeting with my boss. You know, it'll be a real boon to me if I'm the one that uh, gets this infamous Lady Blackbird on board. Remember that uh, world shard one where you decided to um, ingest a certain amount of alcohol and that singing might be something you might want to take up? Hold on, I'm having to narrow it down. There's about three of them. Is it the one where you promised to be my manager? No, no. This is the one where you decide that you scared the seagulls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember that one. Yeah. I could, uh, put us in a course there. It let your employer know that the merchandise is coming securely and without any surprises. Sounds good to me. Always knew I could count on you, Kel. Always, Abel. Always. And she clicks off the communicator and looks at Cyrus and goes, I left a shit ton of dynamite on that world shard. Thank God, because I thought I was going to have to shoot someone. <clears throat> You're probably still going to have to shoot someone. But not fatally. Have we taken up not killing? Am I changing things? If we need to change things to not killing, I, I, I should Oh, I'm fine with killing. I just don't want to get dirty. Okay. Not in front of... Oh, not in front of her. Okay. Well, we're going to this world shard. I left a shit ton of dynamite there. For... Can I ask why? It was too hard to move and the ship was, wasn't big enough. Also, Abel was really, really drunk and couldn't help me carry it. So your body knows that there's a shit ton of dynamite on this world chart. No, not really. He was really drunk. Are you are you willing to, you know, bet our lives on his level of drunkenness? Yeah. Because he didn't remember the other <clears throat> significant amount of money that came out with that job, too. Haley, please never change. Why? Why would I change? You're perfect the way you are. Oh, well. I don't know what I'd do without you. <sighs> so, you got this. Well, it sounds like you've got this. No, no, you've got this. I've got... Do you want to fly the ship or do you... Because I'm going to go back down to the engine room and start prepping for... Yeah, well... Ambush. Yeah, I've got this. Also... Yeah. Also... I'm really concerned that your brother is now obsessed with magic. Let's focus on the big picture, which is if we blow up him and his whole ship, that won't be a problem anymore. Do you think I can rip apart? I'm sure there must be some really great things on that ship. If she says, she, like, she starts walking out the door. We're not going to board before we blow it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
the day goes on without any anything bad happening, anything weird happening. It's sort of a normal day uh, as you get to the remnants. Um, this world shard is right inside of the remnants. It's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to take some navigating. Um, it's one that it, it's a world shard that is a lot of pirates use because it's got sort of the safety of the remnants. It takes very specific navigation to get to it. It's going to take about three more hours to get into. Um, but in the distance looming, you all can see this huge ship. Um, all of you know it as uh, the um, the angry imperialist. This is Uriah Flint's ship. Um you all see it looming and it, it's it's got hours to go to before it's even close to the world shard as you all are but you see the sails looming in the distance you see the shadow of it as it gets closer second by second um especially you lady blackbird and naomi as as kale is in the engine room and cyrus is on the bridge you can both of you can look out a window and you can see it and uh, Lady Blackbird, you've never seen his ship except in drawings that you might see um, back home, you know, wanted for piracy, Uriah Flint, with drawings of the ship and, you know, in charcoal and such. But this is it now. You can recognize it without a shadow of a doubt. You both see in the distance as it's getting closer, as it seems to be looming there and watching you. Um... You see a spark on one of the flags, a spark that seems to be covered up by dark shadow. It's the clearest thing that you can make out, almost like this fire is being consumed by shadow. Now, Naomi, the way he used to talk about this ship, it was mostly a dream when I knew him. But it seems Uriah Flint's really likes the ostentatious look. You know? The ship's... I never saw the ship in real life. I, when I knew him, he had a much smaller ship, and he was mostly hanging around not terribly far from the estate. So this... gestures at the window. This is a lot. Right? Like, this is a lot. I think you're muted, Naomi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> normally, I would be excited that you were interested in someone with so much ambition and the ability to achieve it, but now that I know how he achieves things, I am um, this this fills me with dread and not excitement. What what do you plan to say to him? You have planned this, right? We've been talking about this for a long time. I think my plans have changed. But I do know what I'm going to say. But I have a feeling it's going to hurt a lot of people. Who who will I be protecting you from? I think, I think it's possible that the answer is myself at this point. Naomi, I am about to do something probably foolish. But I want you to make a promise to me. I want you to promise me that 
you'll take, you'll make sure that the owl is okay. Like now? You can't let's, mean. Let's just say in perpetuity. I will accept your request, but I have a request of my own. Okay. And I know how you feel about being told what to do and who to be and which box to fit into, but if any of us are begging you to not do what you're going to do, that you'll listen. Just promise you'll listen. I will at least keep an ear, but. Okay. I think I'm making the right choice this time. Some more time passes. Cyrus, you're able to navigate through the bit of um, bit of uh, remnant. Some it it takes your careful navigation. Uh, your eyes can't be taken off of the bridge for one second as you move the owl through, and you from your spot can see the angry imperialist moving quick, moving closer, quicker. It's so much bigger than the owl i mean you knew it would be it's a pirate ship for for god's sake um you do notice that the fleet the the many ships with it he's chosen not to bring them with him it seems to be just his one ship um you are within docking distance of this world shard if you would like to begin that process because you can see that the angry imperialist is doing this, doing such. It doesn't seem to be stopping. It, it's going to continue on and, and dock. I'm going to pray to whatever gods might be listening <laughs> and uh, begin docking procedures. Yeah. You all fear, fear. You all fear, you fear something. <laughs> you all feel um, the the shake of the owl as it um, moves side to side as you know it enters the gravity of the world shard, and um, you're pulled down a little bit, and you know that you're in the process of docking, um, and after about thirty minutes, <laughs> yeah, that's a big Freudian slip. It takes. <laughs> <laughs> it um, takes you all um, a couple of minutes to get used to the movements, but I mean, you've been through this before. It's just holding on to the side of the ship here and there. Um, and about 20 minutes later, you're all, all the movement stops and um, you are docked on this world shard that Kale is the only one that's familiar with it. And you are in the shadows of the angry imperialist as it sits across from you about, about 50, 60 feet. And as none of you have moved yet, you can see walking down off the gangplank is this man, um, olive skin. His hair is cut short uh, for viewers. Uh, I face claimed him as Pedro Pascal. <laughs> it's just great. Um, he's wearing um, a, a uh, white shirt couple of buttons unbuttoned a black jacket with gold um details on it he has a hat on that's sort of cocked to the side with gold feathers um and a very tasteful amount of chest hair yes <laughs> um his um shirt isn't tucked in it's over trousers and, and boots as he um walks down he has a couple of uh gold rings on his fingers it's very classic um 
pirate. He's very much gone into that sort of uh, theme uh, with his hands behind his back. Uh, and he stops at the end of his gangplank and uh, just sort of stops there. There's, and you notice there's no one else out there with him. It is just him. Kale, I'm pretty sure if he sees me, this is going to go south pretty quick. So where's the dynamite? And I can get that set up. About, and she kind of looks out the window where he, where um, Uriah is and where he put their ship because she would have told, sent coordinates to Cyrus that put them in the best possible place to land. Mm-hmm. It's like about a hundred yards to his west. That big rock formation, see it right there? It's kind of like, yeah, it's, it, it's, you could probably just blow it up and it would do everything for you. Um, oh man, does that mean I gotta talk to him? Yeah. No, me and Lady Blackbird, what are you doing? I'm actually going to walk to the bridge and, and, try to try to talk to Cyrus and Kale before I get off the ship to yeah. go meet the go meet the ex. Yeah, both of you can get up there. They're still they're sort of huddled over together talking. You you're just catching whispers, but you can catch them there. I don't mean to interrupt. I I assume this is an important meeting, all things considered. Uh just final things to do um i'm walking out with you confirming things being oh, professional you... no apparently i do being professional you do. yeah then we uh, blow them to hell yeah there's that probably hopefully deeper you uh, are going to blow up a giant pirate ship it's not the biggest thing i've blown up I don't we're gonna, like rats. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to come back to that later. Uh, we're going to need to have a discussion about that, Kale. Um, Actually, as to where you're sourcing your explosives from, but that's neither here nor there. Um, apparently, there's a shit ton of dynamite on this world shard. Captain, two things. One, Kale, I appreciate it, but I'd like to go talk to Uriah alone first he's expecting me so i'm kind of gonna have to be there too you can talk to him i'm just gonna be like behind you keep a a good distance i if you don't mind consider it a favor to me that i am allowed to have my privacy on this uh yep don't worry and kale kale another thing can you can you leave for a second? Sure, I can leave so you can have your mushy romantic moment and she walks out the door. She wasn't, that's, you know who she Captain. is by now. That's Cyrus, Cyrus. Yeah. I want to accept your offer to stay on the owl. I'm glad you feel comfortable to do that. But there is a chance that it might not be right away. And I know you want to blow up this pirate ship, and I understand that you have this whole complex feeling about Uriah. And although I I actually don't know his real name. I've only ever known Uriah Flint as... Uriah Flint, the pirate king who worked his way up from, you know, a small crew of nasty pirates to this large thing in front of us. Well, if you call him Ishmael, I'm sure he'd really appreciate that. I'm sure it would go a long way to repair the bridges that have been burned, but if your affection for me is as as true as it seems to be, as you said, please don't blow up that ship. 
not not because I don't necessarily <laughs> I feel like I can't deter you from this plan you've made and I I respect and understand your your need for vengeance but give me a chance to talk to him first and then and then I I You'll do what you'll do, I guess. As you wish. And Lady Blackbird's going to walk away and all the way. She's like, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm accepting your offer, not just in a professional capacity. I hope you realize that. <laughs> Understood. But the rest is yet to be seen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I I have some loose ends to tie up. I'm okay. sure you'll do a great job. She's going to walk off the ship and so meet Uriah Flint. Who who all is following Lady Blackbird? Kale, of course. Naomi, are you following as well? What's your plan, Natasha? Am I following or am I? I would have protecting the owl. No, I want you on the ship. Okay. Stay. Wow. Are you staying um, there with Cyrus then? Oh, I am <laughs> gonna go sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> oh, okay. Over to Jeez. where the dynamite is. Wow. Are you going with Cyrus then? Is that what your idea of protecting the ship is, Naomi? Wait. So let me just clarify for a second before I say that I'm going to do something and mm -hmm. it turns out to be a really dumb idea. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> if the owl has, okay, I don't know how dynamite works. <laughs> Let's just preface with that. The way that D explained it, it's not going to hit the owl. It's going to be more splash damage toward the, it's going to take a yeah. roll, but it's going to be more splash damage toward the, toward Uriah's ship and not the owl. So I was wondering, I like the owl has, I took I, a couple of advances, advances because of the keys I bought off and just regular XP. So I have gunnery now, which I assume applies to the owl. It, so I, 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 will, I will let it, it's fine. So I'm wondering if I could shoot from the owl or if I have to go out and like manually detonate. De de Detonate, Detonate it? <laughs> yes. Um, because it is the finale and stuff, and I'm not a big, huge stickler for rolls, I will let you shoot. I will let that uh, stick for the owl's gunnery. I'm not the Hell biggest yeah. stickler for rolls. I don't care. It's the finale. Okay. Let's just whip for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah really but um, is that so? What do you do? You want to shoot from the owl? Yeah, I'm going to shoot from the owl because that means I don't have to sneak over there. Okay, Naomi, are you staying on the owl or are you defying what Lady Blackbird asked you to do? Well, it seems like in our, our in our conversation, she basically said, you know, I no longer want you as a bodyguard. I need you to be a member of this crew. So um, as hard as it's been to take that on, um, I'm doing whatever is needed of me at this moment. So... Cyrus, did you need me to do something, or do you mean to stay here, or um, what? What would your orders be? Oh yeah, Naomi's a member of the Owl now, which I guess is something that Lady Blackbird probably should have mentioned, but she just yeah. Cyrus, what would you need Naomi to do? Guard the hatch. Um... How good are you with guns? I'm great with them. Great. Here's two. <laughs> if anyone comes within 100 meters who isn't friendly, shoot them. <clears throat> I will. And Lady Blackbird, with Kale trailing behind you, you walk out. You feel the distance between both ships. And standing there at the bottom of his plank is a familiar face. Older, seven years older, but familiar nonetheless. And the closer you get, the smile grows on his face. He takes a step forward 
and looks toward you, Kale, and he says, Are you the one that communicated with Abel to bring my dear friend to me? That'd be me. He takes a step closer to you, Lady Blackbird, and says, It's so lovely to see you again. Oh, Uriah, after all these years. After all this time. I can't believe I had to put out a bounty just to get you back. I feel like there were other times, and there were so many, you could have called, you could have written, you could have send communications you live in an imperial state and it's been very dangerous for me places like that yeah. i'm the pirate you have, king you have made a name for yourself that is for sure he goes to hug you do you allow him to she does it's nothing more than a hug it's it's a it's like a very warm hug but it's nothing more than a hug he doesn't try to kiss your cheek or anything like that he just gives you a very warm hug and he steps back and he says what so so who do i who do i owe the pleasure to the crew who brought you back to me well you've seen kale here and she's had yep. several crew members um but it's mostly kale wow what a feat, then. He snaps his fingers, and you see Abel, uh, Kale, sort of uh, stroll down the um, gangplank. And uh, he's holding um, a very, very large purse of coin. Um, and you can tell as he like, sort of swings it around, which he should not be doing. Uh, you know Abel is a very uh, clumsy sort of guy. He's got a shaved head. Um, his clothes are not clean whatsoever. Um, he uh, he um, swings around. You can see there's jewels. There, It's not just eight. It's not just like this ton, this huge big thing of, of coins. It's j jewels, tons of, tons of money in there. And uh, he uh, goes to see you, Kale, and he's like, well, I should have known the owl would get you back. And you feel, Lady Blackbird, the hands on your shoulders get just tight for a moment. But they loosen up. So the owl, I've heard many stories about a ship. It's the ship that always can. Well, I, I thank you for the... I'm afraid its reputation was not of importance. It was the, the first ship that would get me out of Imperial sectors, as it were. And you say you're the captain, Gail? Oh, I never claimed to be a captain. I just said this is my ship. So where would the captain be? Uh, Cyrus Vance, I've heard. Last I saw Cyrus, he was dealing with a small dust up that occurred in a uh, night port with uh, Isabel at the Jealous Chain. Fiona was there too. There was a lot of screaming. Um, yes. Somebody was looking for their pants. Uh, there was also uh, questions of who was doing what to whom. Yeah, he looks down at you, Lady Blackbird. He says, I did hear about that. I, you know, I had heard rumors for a very long time about the blackbird magic. Never knew that it went all the way down to you. Glad to see that you finally decided to use it. Oh, Uriah. You know what this means, and, uh, right? What does it mean? She's she is definitely just like kitten eyes, doe eyed, like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He reaches down you know, and he playing with his hair a little bit, you know, just like he reaches down and just gently it. um cups your cheek in his hand. It's like the two of us together, we can no one no one can chance us in the blue. It's just the both of us. We could rule this place, pirate, king and queen. 
with magic like yours and magic like mine. Thank you, Uriah. I have waited for you to say those words to me for seven years. And she's going to lace her fingers into his hair and grab really tight. You should have said something before I realized what a monster you were. And out comes the lightning. She is just going to blow him the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you do that, I think you see these shadows begin to appear from him, um, from all over his body. You immediately know that he's a shadow sorcerer. His um, defenses are going to try to come up. It's going to be an awe before because he's also a very talented sorcerer. So you get one. Here we go. Just cause. Two. Um, this is this is a lot of magic. Yeah, yeah. I have I have matched up from not just lightning but into blast. Yeah, I think you and get one just cause, and then your sorcerer, and then blast. Yep. We're definitely going to use the the storm lightning magic because it's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. We're gonna go for the big, and this is this is um, this is me kind of buying off my mission. So I'm I'm gonna throw a few in from the pool. Yeah, of course. Mm, you refreshed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go big and throw four in from the pool. So that is nine. Did I do that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, nine. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm gonna roll big. Here we go. And you still. Yeah. Uh, you did it. I was going to say, you still have a re-roll, but you did it. So, because you rolled so high, is your intention to kill Uriah Flint? Yes, absolutely. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> there is a loud crack of electricity. Um, sort of the crack that you hear on a very stormy day. Even you, Cyrus and Naomi, you hear it back in the ship. Um, and Cyrus, you're watching Naomi. You can see out of a window. You all hear this loud crack and you see Uriah's body flung to the side and then everything goes silent. And I am just, I am just going to stand there encased in, in, in lightning and just sort of flickering sparks between my fingers. Kaylin's gonna grab the bag. Of yeah, Rumpy. Abel. Abel is standing there in shock. He's dropped it to the ground, and he just sort of goes, "What the hell?" Um, I moved up, and she grabs the stuff and goes, "And Abel, stop being a dick." And she <laughs> oh, you can punch. He's so shocked that you don't even have to roll to punch him. Yeah, it's just like she's not even just gonna. She's not trying to kill him. She's just yeah, like, just to knock him, him down on his ass. Yeah, for sure. Um, and she grabs the bag and then turns to Natasha goes, all right, lady, time to leave. I think, and, and she's going to whip the lighting around a little more. She's like, I think you can blow the ship up now. And <laughs> just calmly walk back to the owl. This is when you turn to calmly walk back and Kale, you're running. This is when you hear the uproar on the ship. You start to hear get him you know and it, it's you can hear the ship beginning to turn the guns are coming out the cannons are coming out cyrus and naomi what are you doing back on the owl i'm going to shoot at the dynamite <laughs> where i know the outcropping where kale told me it was yeah because you know the outcropping is only going to be an op three okay so i'm going to use um smuggler so one just cuz and then smuggler um i guess this is camouflaged yep so i'm gonna use camouflage uh pilot um gunnery gunnery yeah right. um would deception count because we've tricked them yeah you definitely tricked them the six <clears throat> um op three i'm gonna punch in three from my pool so nine. Um, yeah. Uh, four for my pool. Make it an even ten. I'm just okay. really nervous. And I, want it to, <laughs> I, want it, I don't want to mess up. Listen, this is the finale. Go big. Naomi, as this is happening, 
Oh yeah, you you see it. You this this dynamite. I was uh, there are a couple that are getting close to Lady Blackbird. If you wanted to run out to try to sh- to shoot them, that the dynamite's going to avoid because it is so far behind um, them. Naomi uh, or Lady Blackbird can try to sh- to sh- to shock them. It's up to you. But she doesn't see them. She's calmly walking. Um, if you wanted to try to get a punch off on a couple of them, Lady Bla- or Naomi. But so, you, you all hear the loud boom as the as the back of the uh, angry imperialist is just blown to smithereens. So the way I, I see this, um, if you're okay with rewinding a couple of seconds, of course, yeah, is um, I I have never fired a gun once ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you. <laughs> I went like this when I said it. Oh, um, no, I thought you said yes. No, I was gonna uh, I, that uh, makes it so much better, though. Like, <laughs> y- yeah, I'm great. Great with guns. <laughs> and so I'm really, really timid with it. I'm kind of scared of it. And I want to shoot um, uh, one of the guys that's running after Lady Blackbird, but I want it to be the moment that the gunnery fires at the dynamite so that it feels like that's what a gun feels like to me is like this explosion to the world um, yeah it's or, only going to be an ob too so okay. if you want to do i mean because you have so much happening it's not the highest thing and they're not the best trained um soldiers right okay uh let's just because you're awesome see. yeah because i'm awesome um i'm a bodyguard bodyguard yeah who is, has awareness of threats mm-hmm. and who is defending Lady Blackbird yeah. um, to delay them. Yeah. Um, so that's six dice. Um, and I'll throw in a couple from the pool. So that'll be eight dice. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Um, oh, go back to my sheet. Do it on the sheet. <laughs> Y'all are great. Y'all are so great. All right. Yeah, you're great. Um, Lady Blackbird, you don't eat. They don't even get close to you. Naomi, you've never handled a gun before, or if you have, it hasn't been the best. But you're able to shoot this guy in his chest. He falls back. You sh- pull the. You um, reload the gun. Shoot another one as they're trying to get to Lady Blackbird, and she is just. Kale's running out ahead. So Kale, you see the bullets fly past, and you you make you lock eyes with Naomi as she's firing. But Lady Blackbird, you are just casually strolling up, and by the time you all get back on the owl, um, Cyrus, what are you doing? Um, can I meet them at like the gangplank? Hell yeah. Um, I'm going to meet them at the gangplank. And that's the coolest thing I've ever seen any person do. And I, I'm going to say to, I can't do this. I blush too much. <laughs> I don't blush that much. Like, as you can see, my face isn't red, but I can, like, feel the blood going there. Yeah. Um, but I, I look at her and I say, um, that was the most impressive thing that I've ever seen. Um, can I kiss you? As though I wouldn't say yes, of course. And she's just, she's going for it. Like, she's still got a little bit of lightning on her fingers, so she's like, one hand's behind her back, like, shooting lightning at the wreckage behind her. Just, like, leaning into this kiss and going for it. As much as I'd like to do this all day, we really do need to get going. Yeah, no, um, we should go. Before the cavalry alive arrives. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pat Naomi on the shoulder and be like, good job. I didn't think it would shake the world so much. (laughs) Happens every time. I'm like looking at this rifle, like this powerful rifle. (laughs) I did that. (laughs) I did that. I I made this. (laughs) You all. This is my boomstick. (laughs) (laughs) You all climb back onto the owl. Uh, Cyrus, you are able to, uh, you, you're able to leave the world shard. Um, and, as you leave up into the remnants, um, you can look down at the smoldering ashes of 
the angry imperialist and you can see the dead body of Uriah Flint laying there on the world shard, getting smaller and smaller and more out of sight. And I think that's where we will end our adventure into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Finally, I can't finally, believe like, everything this... worked out. <laughs> I know that's like the th that is crazy. It's the best, the most smoothest game of of Lady Blackbird I've ever seen. <laughs> I just want to say, like, I was totally prepared to let Lady Blackbird die. I was we totally know. prepared to let me die because I have secret of warp blood. <laughs> I was going to try and oh, make you let your well, escape. Oh, also, well, Kale. I did not touch the one thing that, like, I had prepped a whole se scenario where, if needed, I could grab Lady Blackbird and get us back to the ship faster. Because I haven't used any of the petty magic that she has. At oh, all. yeah. So no, it's, I, it's yeah. fine. Y'all were. 100%, I can just envision them on the ship as they're, like, floating away and, like, Lady Blackbird's hanging out on the on the brig with a Cyrus Van Shield. By the way, I hope you don't mind that I stole the revenge thing. I just, I, you, I mean, you got shot and, and things were obviously not great with your brother, but he was a he, very terrible. He was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus would be like, if there was a way for him to go, I think being blown up by lightning is a pretty good one. Yeah. I have loved this so much. Uh, yeah, we can go around and do outros. And this is, I can't, I'll, I'll talk about it when it's my turn. But Robin, what about you? We're doing outros? Yes. Yes, can my we, can we favorite. Can epilogues too? <laughs> oh, yeah. If you want to, when it's your turn, you can do an epilogue. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't, I'm very not smart at epilogues until after the game is ended like properly. So I don't have anything in mind. Because uh, I thought I'd be dead right now, if we're being honest. Um, but um, my name is Robin. You can find me on Twitter at r underscore omulus. Um, I'm in several games right now. So this Friday, I don't know what channel it's on, but we are starting a uh, uh, songs uh, in the dusk, songs from the dusk campaign, which is a forged in the dark um, post-apocalyptic. I can't speak right now. Post, I'm too happy to speak. <laughs> it's a Forged in the Dark post-apocalyptic hope punk game, which is um, I'm really excited to get going um, off the table. I'm like, I, I'm going to say it because I think the promo goes up pretty soon uh, Just on it. this Thursday. Yeah, so um, I'm doing a uh, podcast with Off the Table. Uh, it's Last Fleet, which is a new Powered by the Apocalypse game, um, where uh, <laughs> it's all about um, running from a dangerous foe in the vastness of space, and it's going to be very sad and dramatic and cool. Uh, that's going to be released through Off the Table on Thursdays, so you can check that out there. I'm on... Um, a masks campaign that is every other Wednesday on Playbooks and Pals here on Twitch, Playbooks underscore and underscore Pals. Uh, so that's next Wednesday, not this Wednesday. And then on Sundays on Anarisis's channel, I will be doing <laughs> another masks campaign. But this time it's based on <laughs> my, my, hero, my academia. hero academia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so very cool. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm doing right now. <laughs> And I don't have an epilogue, so I'm sorry. And I love this game. It was so awesome. You guys were a great group to play with. Yeah. And I'm going to miss seeing your faces every Monday. It's been so lovely. Uh, Alyssa. Yep, it's it's me. I am at Xander Slamilton on Twitch on Twitter. I am only currently in one game on Wandering DM's channel, the Vampire the Masquerade game, which D runs as our amazing storyteller. I am there as the pretentious art daughter which I'm realizing how much of my real life is starting to bleed into my games and how much the games are bleeding into my real life. I had to make the most art history pretentious thing I've ever said out loud today at work. And I work for NPR, so <laughs> great things happen. But this game was epic and I loved it so much. Thank you all so much for letting me play this. It was such a goddamn blast. 
thank you katie thank you everybody um i think for the epilogue um lady blackbird and like it doesn't take her long she just sort of uses the titles mostly as ceremony it's great for like helping the owl get out of trouble i think if uh she 100 percent is staying with the ship and she is is giving up on a life of nobility and taking a life of adventure um mommy and daddy are not thrilled but that's fine they can disown her but you know thanks to a lo- if if uh if kale's down for it like absolutely can rip off the, the blackbird family for some money when they're short on change <laughs> um kai what about you hi everyone i'm kai uh you can find me online as kai the gamer that's xai the gamer um i am in the season two finale of republic city by night this saturday on kelsa delphi's channel on twitch uh she and Estani and Brooks and St. Guard and I are playing in a Legend of Korra game using the uh, Forge of the Dark system. And um, uh, our, we're, again, we're at, we're at the end of our second season. Um, that is this Saturday at uh, 6 Eastern. Uh, look to my Twitter for more information. Um, so I think that uh, Naomi gets a, a fuzzy hat and um, learns to really um, get into guns, becomes a gun person. Um, she names her guns and things like that. <laughs> and I think I think there's just this one scene where um, like Naomi is holding off all of these these uh, bad guys in a, in a warehouse and she's gone through all of her guns and they all the, the bad guys hear, the the gun go click and they're like all right now we got her and then her fists just come up (laughs) i love that yes so never underestimate naomi right that's that's naomi and d hey y'all you know me i'm at dirge on on twitter or prax as as before as you see me hanging out in twitch chat thank you for running this game katie it was a lot of fun i had so much fun with this um i i love the total absurdity and sibling relationship that cyrus and kale had and seeing what else is going to happen i i think for an epilogue kale is going to fully embrace like that like younger sister thing that she had going with cyrus because she's decided that his other family were such shit that she needs to do a better job obviously um and Lady Blackbird is not aware of the number of times that they've ripped off her parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's totally fine with them if she even if she has no clue. <laughs> no, and and I think and I think she's just gonna embrace and see what happens and sail the blue and rob people as she does. Um, but as for me, you can find me on Twitter at Deirdre Online where I talk about things and games that I write. Um, but as for games that I'm in tomorrow, um, Wandering DM, they're doing the premiere of their Witcher campaign that ties into Tales from the Grimm's Witcher campaign. And my character from Tales from the Grimm Witcher campaign is coming to guest star on the premiere of the Wandering DM one. So I'll be over on Wandering DM on Tuesday playing Witcher, and then I'll be back on Tales from the Grimm on Wednesday playing Witcher. There's a lot of Witcher in my week. It's fun. Um, Would you say then, that people have tossed a coin at you? Yeah, a, a few, a few. I'm not a Witcher, I'm a sorceress and I get to mess with people. <laughs> she likes ice and freezing things. Other And other story things might be coming. It's, it's complicated. <laughs> uh, Thursday is the premiere over on Wandering DM of Dragon Age, The Search for Anders, and it's going to be a great game. It's me, Simon, um, Kelly, the Opera Geek, Inigo, uh DM Cozy Hands, uh, uh, Andrew, who's a new streamer, new gaming, and uh, Tanya, Cypher of Tears, is going to run that game. So it'll oh. be a great game. Come and see and check it out. She'll be great. Um, I, I know she loves Dragon Age, so it'll be great. It, it, it will be a very, very interesting Session Zero was yesterday. It will be very interesting game. We can't wait to see what happens. Also, come watch because I can't give away spoilers, but there are some gonna be things that you might want to come see because it'll be beautiful and a lot of 
Uh, Friday back on Wondering DM for Cyberpunk. I got shot again last week. It happens apparently. Keep getting shot. And then Saturday for uh, Vampire Nightfall as I things are getting complicated in New York and consequences are developing. I don't know what that could be about. Hate those. But I hate those things. Consequences. I've never heard of those before. Don't, they're I don't not. Know what that means. Just not good. Just don't like them. <laughs> but uh, check my Twitter. I always post where I'm going to be. Thank you again, Katie. This was great. This was great to play with you all. I really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. This was so great. This it was wonderful. This was a great campaign. I I really enjoyed because I've I've never ran Blackbird, but I've played a lot of Blackbird and seen how y'all solved the problems in your own ways was so much fun. <laughs> I enjoyed everything about it. It was so great, and um, I was really honored to have such a great group. Um, I'm Katie. You can find me on Twitter at Katie Face and all social media at Katie Face. Um, my name's beneath me somewhere. It'll cycle through. <laughs> but uh, tomorrow you can find me on off underscore the table playing Alas for the Awful Sea. I'll be back there on Wednesday for Godsend. Thursday for Good Society. Friday is the premiere of Hark, our cipher system, uh, post-apocalyptic, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, adventure time type uh, game, which is going to be... So much fun. I'm playing a, uh, it won't be called an adept when we actually play, but I'm playing an adept who shepherds spirits, but we, we are calling them, uh, he talks to little gods, um, little gods who follow him around. So it's going to be really fun. We have a great cast. Lauren, that salty ginger, Summer is playing in it, uh, not so speed runs. Mark is playing in it. And then, uh, Cinder, uh, Seth from our Cape Lorelei actual play, uh, 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 Urban Shadows game is running it. We are so hyped. We played a game of dialect to make our own little language for it. Um, so like it is, we are really, really, really hyped for this game and it's been a long time in the making. Um, so we'd love if you come and hang out for that. And uh, on Sundays, you can find me over on Salty Sweet Games playing in my own game of Witcher. I play a bard, which is, um, I'm barding up. I wrote a very interesting poem this past week <laughs> for our sweet guard that follows us around but um yeah i uh i really really loved this thank you all for being the best and for making this game very 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 easy to run it was great but for now i'm gonna say good night let's see who we're going to go raid i have my phone out i promise i'm paying attention okay yes uh welcome party rpg is playing thirsty sword lesbians Clearly, that means I have to go raid them. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly we have to go raid and for, give some love for Thirsty Sword Lesbians. But um, <laughs> thanks, everyone, for hanging out. We love you, and we hope everyone has a great weekend. Bye.